So hello everybody. Just while I was putting things away, I found uh, a couple of royal coins. So I thought I might as well show you. Here we have Lian Song Bad. Uh, two baht coin. It says Pumipon Adunli Adet Ratchakan Tikao Ratchak Pumipon Adunli Adet, the ninth king of the dynasty. And on the back, it says Patet Thai, Thailand on the top. And uh, the mint and the day of the minting. And once again, my eyes fail me. Two, five, three, O, oh, B, E. And you can see there are two cho. Oh, no, they're not. They're, they're, they're stamped royal. Actually, I think that's probably done from Lumbudu because this two baht coin, apart from being a very rare coin, which was only minted in uh, very limited editions. You can see the very high quality of the detail. Uh, not in mint anymore. It was actually blessed in 2531 by the great Lung Pudu of uh, Watsaket uh, in Ayutthaya the great Lumpudu. So it's a two baht coin, but with the temple stamps and blessed. And uh, Lumpudu called it the Rien Kwan Tung. So it's a two baht coin blessed and empowered by Lumpudu. Uh, this one here is from Lumpudi of Wat Parup. Also Ayutthaya, you see Wat Parup. And this letter in the middle is the Tomanto, which is the equivalent of an English D. And this is the com uh, and also Thai vowel E, long E. So this actually says D in Khmer Sanskrit for the monk who made it, Lumpudi. And it says Bai Ma Glai Glai. Plot pie to a tit go by go and return far and near safe stay every direction and on the front is of course uh some de pratula jom kao pachao yu hua rachakan ti ha sadet pa the round king rama five yeah and this was blessed in 2536 uh, by Lumpudi uh, at Wat Parup in Ayutthaya and is made from Nirgalai Tong, King Rama V. And this one was blessed by many masters but is classed within the pantheon of Lumpokun. Lumpokun. Lumpokun of Wat Ban Rai who passed away a couple of years ago. You can see hand inscription in the middle, itipiso. That's because the rest, that's to complete the formula of the, the embossed kata, which is actually the, um, uh, has the kata, mongkut praputa jau, the crown, Buddha's crown yantra kata incantation or sutra on it, yeah? Um, which begins with Itipiso and was formulated by the great Lumpu Iam of Watnang in Nontaburi. Uh, Lumpu Iam Watnang, very famous for Takrot, Mark Toy, and uh, um, Pitta amulets. And that's also Rama 5, blessed by Lumpu Kun with hand inscription and the kata mongkut praputa jau buddha's crown yantra on the back and this 
actually still has the paper from the temple with it. So there you are, three nice royal coins. This one I'm keeping, I'm afraid, not for sale. From Lumpudu, 2531BE, two buck coins. Any coins are all being smelted down. All of the special celebratory years or rarer baht and one baht and five baht and ten baht coins that have been printed with His Majesty Rama 9. I'm keeping because they're smelting them all down now. And pretty soon they'll be disappeared and there will be collector's pieces. And then they will become, of course, uh, depending on the series and the rarity, just like stamp collectors, like a penny black, will become very valuable and rare. And His Majesty... Uh, there won't be many coins in the future of His Majesty. The Mint is already calling them back. The post office are asking for coins. The Mint is asking for coins and banknotes so that they can uh, change to the new, our new ruler, His Majesty Rama 10. And so I would advise anybody who finds a bad coin from a Jubilee or anniversary edition year to keep it because it will be worth more than one baht. <laughs> it will double its value, triple, and so on, and eventually one day be very valuable. And also a nice memo, me memo if you like His Majesty, if you ever His Majesty Ramanine. But anyway, that's not for sale, that's mine. I also have one with uh, the Queen, the, the, the Royal, His Majesty's mother, yeah, the royal grandmother. Some dead, yeah, I have three, and some dead, yeah, I have two, which I don't sell. These two I might put in the shop, but actually I like to collect royal amulets. So just before I go, you might have just seen in the background, I'm just doing this now for ancientamulet.com. This one is going in, unfortunately, I really love it. From Luong Pubun of Wat Klang Bang Kiao. So that's... Uh, I don't know, a uh, century and a half or so, ages old amulet, really nice someday. Actually has a yant on the back and it's in Yawasana Jindamani powders. And an amulet of this age never smells made from earths or sacred yantra powders, but this one still has an aroma because Yawasana Jindamani, the aroma stays for over 100 years, 150 years. You can still smell it if it's very strong, potent mixture. And just in case you wanted to know, that's a Rian Tai Hong Kong. Rian Tai Hong Kong is a, the, Tai Hong Kong is a famous Mahayana uh, monk in China who built a massive statue and made a lot of merit in China. It was blessed in 2522 by Lumputo Wat Chimpli. And this is filled with Thai earth. It's from the hiding place, archaeological dig find at Grot Wat Cheng Ta, the Cheng Ta Grot burial find. I have some of these in different sizes. This is, is in Achin Takua in lead and alchemical lead with gold leaf, red lacquer, and Din Tai, Thai earths in the bottom, Grot Cheng Ta. And otherwise, there you go. I had the royal amulets. And at the end, just a little taste to show you what was in the background. See you later, everybody.